Hey guys, how's it going? Hello YouTube universe. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are brand new, my name is Kayla. If you guys are one of my uh, subscribers, thank you guys for sticking along. I know I started this years ago and I've been kind of like off the track for a while, a little am I either. Um, I just wanted to do something, um, I've been itching to do a video and I'm just so neurotic about my my work and everything, what I do, and it's like if I don't like how something turns out, you know, I, I just, I scrap it. So I can't tell you guys how many videos I've filmed and set aside because I just wasn't totally satisfied with the outcome of them. So I just wanted to do something light and airy today. I wanted to do kind of an updated natural makeup look for you guys today. I know I did one a couple years back, but I just, again, just wanted to put something out there because I've had that itch to do a video and just something you know, nice for summertime, something that kind of makes you look a little bit more refreshed. Um, I've made a commitment to myself to not wear makeup every single day. Typically, I only wear makeup if I'm like going to an event, um, social gathering, or working. And since I'm working a lot uh, full time, I'm wearing makeup a lot for, you know, majority of the day. So I again made a commitment on Saturdays no makeup and then days off no makeup unless it's an event right so on Saturdays typically I don't do a full face of makeup it's like you wake up so early and you have to be there for eight hours and we go to work typically earlier on Saturdays than we do the rest of you know throughout the week um, so it's just it's so exhausting sitting there tired as hell doing your makeup when you have to go to work and then who knows what else after work um, so at least this way it just you know makes you feel more refreshed and you're not scaring off your customers when you're face to face with them all day follow along if you want to find out how to get this <laughs> let me go ahead and get started here first what I want to do is use my Too Faced Primed and Peachy um, Primer. <laughs> uh, this one is a Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. So what I have kind of learned about my skin, I guess, is that when I want to not wear so much makeup but have like a little oomph, um, I learned it's best to put some primer on. That way, whatever you do, um, due to your face will stay more in place and it just it lasts longer throughout the day and it actually looks better uh, my skin gets super oily so um, through trial and error I just kind of figured setting my face with the primer first just makes it so much easier of a process let me go ahead and pump this and um, first I'm just going to spread it over my face and then I like to press it into my skin that way it can just really settle in and stick better to my face versus just smearing it around I used to use eyeshadow primer religiously but um, it, you know, I honestly, I just kind of figure, well, I mean, if I'm priming my face, honestly, if I use my face primer all over, including all over my lids, that does the same thing. And it's, this one's actually worked a lot better. My next product that I'm going to use is by Dr. Dart. This is, I don't know if it's called Sika Pear, but it's Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. So the product itself is like kind of like a green color and I got this and I think it might have been my Sephora Play subscription and at first when I got it I was like this smells kind of weird but I've actually gotten used to it and I just you know I was kind of like um, hesitant to use it but I tested it out on my skin and I freaking love it I mean I don't know if you can tell but I'm like I hit the bottom I need to buy one I love it so much so what I love about this is I don't know if it's coming up on camera very well but 
I have been in the sun a lot this summer especially and I get red and then I get tan so in that awkward stage when I'm like super red um, after first being in the sun for a long period of time like I was today out playing disc golf and then swimming and doing some yard work and stuff I even though I put sunscreen on I still got red so what I'm going to do first is take my finger and oh God, I'm like out of it so first I'm just gonna dab some on like the more red areas Oh, and then it also has SPF 30, so even better. Well, I don't know how much this costs from Sephora, but being that it's Dr. Dart, I'm sure it's not uh, cheap. So I'm sure there's an alternative, but I mean, honestly, like I've, I've used NYX and don't get me wrong, those are great, but the fact that this has SPF in it just makes it such a great purchase, I would think. Um, but I'll have to double check and see how expensive that stuff is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my foundation brush, my stippling brush, and just um, like pat it into my skin. I like it too because if I have blemishes, it kind of covers them up a little bit. It helps in the process. I don't know how well it's coming up on camera, but I don't know if you can kind of tell the difference, but this side is a little bit more red because I haven't gone over it yet, versus this side is more um, like kind of nudish color. It's not as red, so hopefully you guys can see the difference. I don't want to go too foundation-y today, um, so I'm just going to do a little bit, and I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray and spritz some of that in my sibling brush. And then I will use the Tarte Found Sealer. This I just got in, pretty sure it was a Sephora play box. And I've been freaking loving it. And when I first saw the shade, I was like, ooh, girl, that's too dark. Girl, it's perfect for my summer skin tone, that tan, because my go-to foundation was making me look like a ghost like up here and then tan down here as well as like both not working honey so uh this is in the shade 34s medium sand um this is a multitasking foundation and it has spf 20 sunscreen so hey all right so i'm just gonna take a little bit like i said i don't want to go too foundation-y too makeup-y today so just do a quick brush over on my face. Remember, I'm just doing the natural but with a touch of makeup. And then when I am uh, spreading the product across my face, I am pressing in very quickly, but I am pressing in so that way it can really sit onto the skin, into the primer again so it can stick better and last longer throughout the day. And then just kind of press under the eyes and then I'll just kind of like blend it down to my neck okay. the next thing that I'm going to use is my NYX color correcting dark circle concealer um, so this is a very light peach peachy shade um, this is in the shade Fair, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that under my eyes, and I'm going to use my Morphe, just put about the beauty sponge, I'm just kind of press that in. So I'm gonna add just a touch of concealer. Not too much, but just a little something. And I like to put it all over my eye, my eyelid. I just feel like my makeup looks like better blended that way. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, I'm just, I'm so red, so I needed that extra little coverage. Okay, and then I'm going to set it with some of my Laura Mercier setting powder. And this is the translucent one. I'm just gonna use my same beauty sponge and set it all over. a little bit of definition to my eyelids so I'm going to use my Ciate eyeliner pencil and I don't even remember what this is called exactly because um, it's rubbed off but it's a gel coal liner um, it's just the black color so I'm just going to put that on my upper lid on the waterline so Nothing too much, but just, again, just a little definition. Okay, I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And this is, <laughs> this was from when it first came out, so I don't have the names. I don't know what the color's called, but I love using this one, as you can tell, um, just to kind of set my eyelid, the um, transition shape, and I'm going to take my Storybook Cosmetics Harry Potter brush, um, the flat, flat brush, uh, and I'm just going to press that in to my eyelid to avoid all the product creasing. It's a new shade. You really can't tell. I don't know. I think I guess you can kind of tell. <laughs> and I'm going to take my Vasanti contour eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to blend that out so that way it doesn't look too harsh. And just to stick with the natural tone of the makeup. I will also use my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. Ooh, ooh, real quick, gosh, keep forgetting. I'm just gonna use my EOS Lip Balm. I think this one is the strawberry one. My lips are so hydrated, dehydrated. Oh my God, I'm so dehydrated. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, so now I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs mascara on my upper lid. All right, so for the uh, lower lash, I will be using my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I love this for the lower lash and just kind of lighter mascara days because the brush is so thin. It's perfect for getting up close and adding some oomph to those lower lashes. Some definition. that my eyes are done I'm gonna work on my eyebrows and I will be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Crayon Pencil and Soft Brown this is so freaking awesome I love this one and I'm not gonna go into heavy I'm just gonna do it light just to shape out my eyebrows so they don't look like they're like frayed and crazy tame them i love how it has the dual 
and with the pencil and the brush it just makes it so easy when you're traveling especially so that way you don't have to like bring every single brush in your kit just it's got them both it's the best of both worlds and to be honest the pencil lasts a pretty long time yeah i don't want to go too heavy i i love that like more natural kind of bushy eyebrow look you know, like how the models have, it's just the, the look how they have it. It doesn't look like how like YouTube beauty influencers, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I love doing my eyebrows. If you've been following my channel, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's just something about when it looks natural, like it's brushed out like that. You know what I mean? And they're big, full, bushy eyebrows, but not like, Mr. Bean eyebrows, if you know what I mean. And just, it, they're, I think they're beautiful when they're more natural like that, rather than fully drawn on, if that makes sense. Yeah. I am happy with the brows. I do wanna add a little bit of highlight. So we're gonna go back in my Jaclyn Hill palette. I will use this one for my brow bone and I'm just gonna take I don't even know what brand this uh, this uh, brush is because I've had it for so many years now and I've used it so much that the, the name wore off you know I, I just feel like this helps offset like how red my skin is at the moment and just it brightens up the face. Nice, subtle brightness. Now I'm going to brush off the excess, uh, what do you call it, setting powder. My face on camera still looks, you know, pretty bright after adding everything. So, I'll add a little pop of color using my Benefit Hula bronzer. So not too much, but just enough so that way I don't look totally pale and sickly and red. <laughs> and then I think I got this from, oh my god, I think it was Mermaid Boutique. And I believe it was based out of... Put a little bit at the hairline, just for some definition, and a little bit on the jawline. Okay. I will also be using my um, Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. This is still forever my favorite palette, and I wish I had bought another one. Um, but I'm going to use a little bit of the Pamplemousse. Uh, brush, bl blush, <laughs> just for a little rouge. Not too much, but just a little bit. I mean, honestly, I'm I'm pretty comfortable with this, but I do want to add a little bit of gloss. This is the Jouer Rose Gold Lip Topper. Oh my god, when I opened this in my Sephora Play subscription last month, I was so excited because it's just, it's so glittery and it smells delicious. It smells like, like butterscotch and it reminds me of, of, of this um, Wet n Wild lip gloss and it actually looked just like this but it was in this like rectangle container and you would just dip your finger and put it on, right? It didn't come in a wand, but it smelled just like it, and it had like the same color, and it just totally brought me back to when I was a kid, uh, maybe like a preteen teen, but I love that stuff so much. I don't even think they make it anymore, but oh my god, I just, I was so obsessed with that. My grandma and I would buy them all the time. So I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. See how shiny that is? Oh my god! It's so fun. 
just you know like that summer like just keeping it simple little pops here and there that summer shine bronze tan i love it i am totally happy with this Ooh, i do want to set it a little bit with my urban decay all-nighter setting spray keep it all in place So that is my simple, natural makeup kind of look. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I will see you guys on my next video. And I hope you guys are having a great summer. Honestly, summer 2019. Woo woo. <laughs> All right, bye.